All right, everybody. We're at Dale Hollow Lake. Actually, we're at a VRBO. We'll walk through that uh, a little bit later on. But we're at the Yak Gadget Team Meetup. And uh, we're going to walk around and show everybody's setup. All right, so when we was here on this weekend, we had a, a bunch of Johns and Michaels. So this is the other Michael. What's up, guys? This is Michael, and this is Michael Darty. Darty, is that said right? Darty, yep. Hey, I got it right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they're actually filming a little bit. Of, the owner of Yak Gadget is actually filming a little bit here with Michael. So I'm going to kind of creep in the background and film at the same time. How about that? So, and we're going to go over to Hobie PA-12. That's right. Yep. So anyway, now I'm going to kind of creep in the background. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Take two. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm Michael Darty um, from Kingston, Tennessee. I'm on the pro staff for Yak Gadget and Frontier Outdoors, which is also in Kingston, Tennessee. Um, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of how I set my PA-12 up for tournament day um, to get everything ready to go. I'm going to start with how I mount my electronics. Um, a lot of guys like them on their rail. It gets in my way. I do a lot of flipping, a lot of skipping, wacky worms, that kind of fishing finesse style. I like my depth finder up here out of my way. It's still within plenty of easy enough reach that I can get to all my settings and stuff. It's mounted to the tracks on the front of my PA-12 and bolted to this um, bow mount or front mount plate from Yak Gadget. Um, coming back from there, I use the tool organizer, the rail extender. Um, I keep my pliers, uh, my fish grips. I've got a paddle grip from Yak Gadget to keep my net up here out of my way quick easy access pretty tight it won't come out just easily um, I keep my phone holder right here so I can see what time it is um, quick easy access for when I get my catch board out to take my pictures um, the next thing I want to kind of talk about is a uh, tackle storage yak gadget is on top of that that's for sure um, with this under seat tray I can just pull this tray out I keep this for all my soft plastics that I want to get to throughout the day so I keep a soft plastic bag in there. I keep a bag, a box of chatter baits. All my soft plastics just kind of loose that I use. Um, quick and easy access, just yank it out there and it's right there ready for me to use. Also this bag is completely waterproof. So on those rainy, terrible days that you got to fish those tournaments, I throw my phone in there. It's always been safe. Um, it's also got, if they can come around, you have tethered holes up here. You can attach your tools. Um, I've got a pair of clippers in here also, but it's just got holes. I use carabiners just to clip those. There's four holes there. Um, awesome product. I love it because you can change everything out really quickly. You don't have to, you can put 3,700 boxes in there. You can put those 3,600 boxes in there. Get loose, organized, however you want to do it. Um, coming back from there, I use the XD crate. Um, it holds six 3,700 Plano boxes very easily. Um, just reach around here. You can grab a box right out of there. Um, just ready to go. This crate's also got the waterproof bag on top. So you can keep anything in there. I mean, you can keep a phone in there if you wanted to. Extra batteries, charging ports, any, any of that stuff with you. Um, I use the Catch X board. I got the Catch product to strap it to my uh, crate. This also holds six rods back here standing up behind you out of your way um, also from there I keep the seat pack with me um, this is pretty important if anybody knows if you ever fell in the lake and you're wearing inflatable you gotta keep <laughs> one of them with you because you might need it sometime and I keep my sunglasses case in there also easy quick reach around maybe a snack or something in there just out of your way. It's, I mean, this is storage that nobody else uses. Um, you just throw that bag on there, it Velcros, nice and tight. Um, it ain't going anywhere. I drive down the road and it stays attached. Um, and then some of the, my tournament trail that I run, I allow trolling motors. I know some of the bigger tournament trails are now. Um, so I got with John and we built a trolling motor mount for the pro angler. Um, as you can see, it bolts where your rudder cables are up here with four bolts and he also made it to where it clamps to your rear a-trail this thing ain't going nowhere i've never had any questions of how sturdy it was it's amazing um and it's fully adjustable this will fit a pa14 or a pa12 
he also has this product to where you can put an anchor pole back here um, from him. It's pretty, pretty great for sure. So guys, that's how I rig my PA-12 up for tournament day. Um, hope I showed you something you can use. Have a great day. Right here we got the Dorado, the Feel Free Dorado. All right, and I got John Rapp. All right, make sure we got so many Johns, I get the last names mixed up, it's mixed up. So I was gonna show you some of his setup on his boat. And what I like about all of these products that Yak Gadget has is they go from boat to boat to boat, and it, that's really neat. So. What do you think about this? So this is that the, what I told you I was envious about right here. Look at that rod set. Right side there. rod system. I'm really digging it, man. Because you know, uh, anybody that's got a pedal craft, you're always trying to figure out what to do with your paddle. Yep. And now you got the ability to just put it to the side and keep him knees a pumping when you're getting down the water. <laughs> you're right. You know? And you know, in skinny water where you're you're dealing with brush and trees and trying to go around stuff. Uh, you know, you don't want your your rods in a vertical position. Now you got the capability of, of throwing a couple right down here like this. Yeah. Guys got power poles and stuff like that. You, you know, you don't have to have your paddle here. You can use your power pole. In oh, the see, I didn't think about that. I like that, and that'd be great for transport. Yes. Yes. So, so and the good thing about Yak Gadget products is they come with the the way it's set up that it'll fit not only the feel free tracks, which are wider, but the uh, the standard tracks that are in the, on the other boats. This is awesome right here. All right, hey, we're Mike. here. Hey, <laughs> I thought I'd show you how we got this feel free Dorado set up with a quick anchor cleat from yakgadget.com. I've got a six pound ball bearing that a buddy of mine makes in West Virginia. It's called, we and uh, wow, I so like that. What, he, what we've done there, and I, I've attached that to the boat this weekend when we were out there fishing on the river. And uh, when I wanted to stop somewhere, I would just be sitting up there in my seat and I would lift up, drop my ball, boom, I'm there. When I was ready to roll, I just jerk it right back up, just nice and smooth, get her up everywhere out of the way, drop it, boom, that simple. Yakgadget.com, look them up, they'll be on the website soon for sale, and uh, have a great day. And I'm going to put a link to, in the description below of, uh, of all the products that has part numbers or links to now. And this is awesome. So once you, will you drop it back down for me, let me, let me, let me show something. Up. Yeah, all the way down. down. All right, then let go of it. So what happens when he let go of it? This right here rolls in and locks. So when it locks, then it pulls it and it, you're, you're you're locked in. For, sorry for the stutter there, but I didn't. I just wanted to point out that part. That's that's genius. I really like that a lot. So hey man, thank you for uh, going over and it's good to be on the team with you. My pleasure, brother. All right, Looking see. Many many adventures. Man. Oh yeah. We're gonna come back here. All right, so we're going over the, here, I, here I'm getting, what is the name of this it's one? It's the quick stop. The quick stop. So what this is, is a, a pole anchor system. So a couple things, here's the collar. Get down here with the collar. And that stops it from going too far up. Trini, you gonna pull that for me? Pull it on up there. And that's smooth as butter. Okay, so go ahead and let go of it, Trina, baby. I'm gonna let it down. And what happens is if you deploy this in deep water, there's another collar that goes up to here that we don't have on yet. Okay, and also you got a, where you can deploy your anchor here? Yep. yep. Like the ball anchor, like we just went over on the other kayak, the feel free up there with John Rapp. So, wow, that's another neat product right there too. Man, John. <laughs> Look at him. He kills it. I don't know how his mind works. And this, uh, okay, I didn't go over this. He keeps me straight. He keeps me He keeps you straight. And this mount straight um, for the power pole mount right there, the four, right, right here. It's screws. And a lot of the boats have that already on. So. Yeah. And Charles came, and Charles and I both, we, we work on this stabilizer tower upgrade as well. That, that goes on it now that it actually ensures that you, you get even less wobble. It's never really been an issue, but this really does improve how smooth it goes up, down, and deploys. And this 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 collar is adjustable. So basically, this is an eye bolt, and you just basically you can you can bring it all the way up. You can bring it down. Depends what kind of ground you're fishing in or what kind of boat you're on, really. But you can adjust that. Then it's also super easy to take off. So you just take that off. Just take pull it, it out. Off. So it makes wow. it super easy to deploy, super easy to install. 
and uh, Charles and I both have worked real hard on this over the over the last uh, gosh what couple yeah, of years. A couple of years. And it's so smooth. It's like it feels like it's got ball bearings in it. It's so smooth. That's crazy right there. Yeah, we. And also look at this, guys. The flags. Oh yeah. Oh it yeah. Jammed down, it just jammed right down in there. It's That's a four perfect. pound pole, so it operates as an anchor on its own. So yeah. Wow. Is that pole just one length? How long is that? Uh, that's a uh, seven and a half feet. Seven and a half foot. And the reason why we don't have it eight feet because if you ship anything over ninety six inches, it costs three times more. Than uh, uh, understandable. So it went right into that hole. Shoot, <laughs> that's amazing. That's gonna hold you. That's gonna hold me. And we have a anchor cleat, a smart anchor cleat system that you can buy that. It goes through here, and when you let it go, it will hold you. That, yeah, you that's just go. like, um, like I said, on the feel-free boat mm -hmm. that we just looked at. So, yep. and that's the inline system that's actually designed for a great companion piece for this anchor system. Perfect. It's neat. All right, so here I'm gonna go over the uh, XD crate from Yak Gadget, and look at here. Get that mud, dude. And and it won't exactly fit in the boat. Um, because it hits the sides right here. It's a little too wide for the shear water. But he's got risers underneath it. It fits perfectly in the grooves. That's crazy how that works. But it fit in there good, and then you can strap it down. And yeah, I'm really digging this crate here. I mean, I'm really digging this crate a lot. So I'm, uh, I love it. It's got the pouch on the front. Yep. I really like it. All right, so they're talking to Jimmy Skinner right now, getting ready to go over his boat. So I'm gonna go there and creep in the background again and try to get some uh, video of his his setup. You know, easy to pop that off from in the seat. And you know, I've got uh, 3700s and 3600s in here, and I don't even have it close to capacity. I could fit plenty more gear in that, and uh, it's not loud. And then the angle. If you notice, you know, most of the crates are flat with a closing top. Uh, the angle of this box makes it just ergonomically easier to do anything with it. Like, I don't have to turn around if I don't want to to grab something. I can easily reach behind my seat for, for guys that are in, like, low-sitting boats like Jackson's and things of that nature. You know, if you know which slot you put your crate in, you could easily just reach back and grab it without, you know, getting off, off your axis and getting kind of teeter left and right but uh but yeah that's the crate and then uh just a couple more products this is the the quick stop anchor specifically for the new canoe it's adjustable uh i can use this one in my frontier i can put it in my uh my flint i don't have it all the way rigged up since i'm sitting right here on the bank but you know really really smooth low friction pulley system no you know no internal pulleys or anything anywhere um and then it'll go right over here to the the cleat that they got going on uh really really cool design it's just a you know pull the stow and then pull it up and it pops right loose and you can drop it down really really cool system there Let me get this all back here so the rope goes through there it goes up here i've actually got it in upside down uh it has a it has a another collar that goes on the bottom the rope comes up through passes through the pulley it will go through the cleat and then you can stow your excess rope however anchor wizard uh, Z cleat anything like that. Uh, I'll go around here. We got a couple more Yak Gadget products over here. Uh, this is the new canoe specific Yak Gadget uh, Quick Track, and this is one of his limited run uh, fish finder mounts for my Raymarine Element Nine. Um, this is great for the new canoe specifically to be able to get tracks up on the gunnels. Um, that way you can keep your graph kind of out of your foot room when you run a big graph like I do. Uh, and then also this is his new phone mount that uh, not even out there yet, but you know super sturdy and this is an iphone 11 pro max with the really big defender otter box none of the ram mount holders outside of their tablet holder will hold this and they still don't hold it as secure as this is i mean you cannot get that out of there so you can shoot video check the weather all right there uh not gonna have to worry about anything coming out uh this is a relatively new one for me right here i don't even know the actual name on this one john it's just i know this is your cup holder that's adjustable with tool holders. I use cup holders on this boat mostly just to store. This is the cup holder XD. The cup holder XD. Just to keep my spent plastics and stuff in there for later to throw some mended on. 
So, you know, got the crankbaits hanging on it. It's actually got even little hook holders right there. Holds the pliers nice. I could clamp that in if I wanted to. Um, and it's adjustable. You know, you can loosen the track mount up. You can spin it out. You can wow. spin the collar around. You can set it up just however you want to. Uh, I think that's about all the at gadget stuff I'm running on the boat right now. Uh, I'm sure he'll come up with something new and I'll get another new product. But that's just a quick rundown of the at gadget stuff. Uh, make sure you check it out. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.